And in this video, I'm going to talk about homoscedasticity and heteroscedasticity. We want our model to be homoscedastic. So by homoscedasticity, I mean that the variance of uh, the error term UI given education of an ith person, it's a constant number. That is, if we draw a graph of all the people in the data, we will get a graph like this. This is the OLS estimated line that we will get. As you can see, the average distance between our predicted value and uh, the actual value here is equal to the actual value and the predicted value here. That is the variance that we will get from uh, here is equal to the variance that we will get here. Which means the variance does not depend on the education level. That is the variance is constant. So this assumption is called homoscedasticity. In contrast, Heteroscedasticity means that the variance of these UIs, that is the error term, given the education level of individual I, it is not a constant number, rather it depends on the education level. As an example, if we have a data like this data and we draw a line in between all these points, we see that the variance, the distance between our predicted value and actual value, it is increasing with the education level. People with only a few years of education, there may be fewer choices for them, hence the variability between their wages is very low. People with more education, on the other hand, they may choose to go with making more money and earn a lot of money and their wages will be very high or they work in, in another environment where their wages are low. For example, these could be teachers. More education but their wage level is low and these could be people working in, say, Wall Street. So see, there's a more variability in the estimated effect of education on wages as uh, people are getting more education. So this is what uh, this heteroscedasticity is trying to show us that the variance, it depends on the education level. So OLS estimates assume that the variance should be constant. But if the variance is not constant, we will have this heteroscedasticity in the model. So notice here that the average effect of education on uh, wages, it's, uh, it's still unbiased, but it is the variance which is biased. So we want our residuals to show homoscedasticity rather than heteroscedasticity. And uh, this uh, homoscedasticity makes the calculation of prediction intervals easier. Now it may not be possible to improve our predictions even with the homoscedastic uh, residuals. Sometimes uh, applying the Box-Cox transformation may assist uh, to achieve uh, homoscedasticity if our model is uh, showing uh, heteroscedasticity. But otherwise, there is usually little uh, that you can do to ensure that uh, your residuals are showing a constant variance or are showing uh, homoscedasticity. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.